Hello, my name is Daryl Gove. I work in the Solaris Studio compiler team doing performance analysis. Today I'm talking to Raj Prakash, the project lead for the Code Analyzer, about the Code Analyzer, what it is, and why it is important. So Raj, can you tell me a bit about the Code Analyzer and why people should know about this tool? Code Analyzer is a comprehensive uh, set of checking tools. It involves three different kinds of checking. One is static, one is dynamic, and a coverage. Uh, it, it also comes with two visualization tools. One is uh, a command line tool called Kodan and a code analyzer GUI. The advantage of ha having a checking uh, suite like this is that the learning curve is very small and because all the three different tools use the same display mechanism. So you do not have to learn different uh, tool to get the data from three different kinds of uh, features. So tell me a bit about static analysis. So static analysis is essentially the errors that we can find by program inspection. So you do not have to run the program and we just scan the program as it were and tell you what could be wrong with the program. So is this like lint? Don't we get this from lint or error messages? Uh, it is uh, like lint in some ways. However, this is much simpler. For example, with Studio, all you need to do is add an option to your build. Uh, it's actually called X analyze equal code. And you get the results. And you can view the results in the two ways that I mentioned before. And so then you've got some static analysis at compile time. Uh, and you said you had dynamic analysis. Right. What, what does that do? So dynamic analysis uh, is also sometimes known as memory access checking. Okay. So this is when the program is actually running and it's doing something wrong. For example, you have uninitialized memory, you have allocated a heap in uh, one place in the program and later you're accessing it but you never initialized it. And so we'll be able to catch errors like that. And so the third thing you talked about was code coverage. So that sounds different from the other two. But how's that fit in? Yes, uh, at first it does sound different. But imagine this, uh, you cannot possibly find errors in parts of your program that you have never tested. Okay. So that is the bottom line. You want to make sure that all, all parts, all the, all the relevant parts uh, of your program are tested uh, and, and tested in dynamic uh, checking um, and as well as static checking, obviously. So Uncover, which is our, uh, our coverage uh, tool, tells you that your test suite is actually covering certain parts and not covering other parts. Right. And even better, uh, there are actually co coverage tools out there that tell you this, uh, that certain parts of your program are not covered. Uh, however, they, for example, will give you a thousand functions that are not covered nice. in any particular order. And therefore, if you want to sift through that, that, it is a lot of trouble. What we do is we give you a sorted list of functions uh, that are uncovered, uh, topmost being the most important function in fact, it is the function that has most functionality under it. Right. Okay, so that gives you a way of um, organizing your work. So you focus on the bits of code that need the help the most. Exactly. So uh, you start with uh, writing a test case that would cover the topmost function that we sh show. Right. At the bottom of the list, you probably would have functions that are your debugging functions that you right. don't really care about. Yeah. And so you work in the order from top to bottom and that you, then you can cover it very quickly. So you get biggest bang for the buck uh, you, if, you order, if you write your test cases in that order. You mentioned the static analysis is a compiler flag that gives you the analysis as a separate um, sort of set of data. Do you need to do anything special to get the code coverage or the uh, dynamic analysis? No, you do not need to do anything special. Any binary, any uh, executable or shared object that is produced by Studio Compiler is ready for the dynamic checker and the coverage tool. So you do not need to do anything special. So you've got three different types of uh, code testing. So why are these together? How, how does the packaging together help them? Well, so static checking and dynamic checking are both complementary and supplementary. Right. So, uh, let me give an example. It's complementary because in some cases, static checker would find, let's say, uninitialized code. Right. Compiler, therefore, might assume that it is always zero and go right. on. Now, dynamic checker uh, may find other things based on that assumption. 
So now when you see the two of them together, and remember that our visualization tool is, is the same. So in right. fact, you see the two errors in the same context at the same time. And it really helps understand, understand difficult bugs which are otherwise hard to uh, figure out what's going on.